this is Wobby Wallaby. Today, I'm going to explain the Cart Tornado Damage Formula for Novice Guardian. Why is this useful? Knowing how the damage formula works will help you understand how to increase your Cart Tornado damage. You also gain some insight on how damage formulas work in Ragnarok Mobile. I have now switched from being a Dora main to Novice Guardian, so I wanted to understand this class more. I got this code from romhandbook.com. Thanks to Tokwan for making this available. I first found out about this through the Ragnarok Mobile subreddit, and I thought it was awesome to see the decompiled Ragnarok Mobile code. His username is namingishard1 on Reddit, Tokwan on Discord, and I'll link his YouTube channel in the description too. Also, a big thanks to the Ragnarok Mobile Community Discord channel for helping me answer questions. I put some of their responses in this video. To understand the damage formula for Card Tornado, I'm going to do a code walkthrough and provide analysis on the important parts. Let's begin the code walkthrough. First, search for the Card Tornado skill from romhandbook.com. Then, scroll down and you should see a section for formulas for the code. First, the function calc damage 6101 is a function that has code for calculating three things. Card attack for novice guardian, card tornado for novice guardian, and card attack for merchants. You'll see code that doesn't apply to novice guardian, and I'll let you know what doesn't apply. Lines 2 to 18 get a lot of our character's properties. Next, the code also shows the target's properties being assigned to variables. I highlighted two lines to show damage and refine damage reduction. The damage formula takes into account the target's properties, which is why sometimes it's very complicated to calculate these things. Next are the skill level variables. For the first one, it's the merchant's enhanced card skill. We can ignore this. For the second one, it is the novice guardian's enhanced card skill. You get 15 attack per level. Next, these modifiers will be used later on in the formula, but I will explain what each does. For race param, an example modifier is the Hydra card for dealing more damage to the demi-human race. For body pram, an example modifier is the Minoris card for dealing more damage to large-sized monsters. For element pram, an example is how the wind type that is locked to car tornado affects other creatures, and also epic spirit lightning for the extra wind damage. For boss pram, an example is the heart card for extra damage to MVPs and minis. Race Pram 2 and Body Pram 2 are not used in the formula. These variables are declared but never used. For Element Pram 2, looking at the code, they special case some PvP stuff and some hard-coded skills that don't apply to Novice Guardian. This code wasn't clear enough for me to make any concrete conclusions, but in general, I'll say that this affects PvP. For Boss Pram 2, looking at the code, it looks to be some boss resistance percentage, so likely some custom values they could use to make us do less damage to certain bosses. Next, your base attack is all the attack you get from Strength, Dex, and Luck. If you're curious how many points contributes to your attack, you can see the formula here. Next, in Attack Final, the attack you have from things like Gear, Acer, and Guild Prayers subtract the base attack before doing some of the calculations. That base attack is added before being multiplied again with some of the other modifiers. As a result, these modifiers tend to be lower since it doesn't take into account your base attack. These low modifiers include attack percentage, your weapon penalty correction, which deals with the weapon penalty for certain size monsters. You can get rid of this penalty by using the expert precision stone or having the weapon perfection skill used from a fellow blacksmith party member. Also, things like size and element are also lower modifiers. I would classify medium modifiers as race and boss, since these are multiplied after the base attack is factored back in. Next, don't worry about defense reduction. With the third line of Ruthless Slash Ruin, this will be set to 1. Interestingly enough, the long-range damage reduction affects Card Tornado. From Discord, Dreamwalker commented on why the Merlin Time Space Robe is good because it adds a ton of ranged physical damage reduction. Next, this block of code is to deal with weapons like the Ungrateful Soul that deals damage based on your character's base level, but these aren't used for Novice Guardian, so you can ignore this section until they add some in the future that we can use. Next, this code can be ignored since increasing card attack damage based on card slots is just for the merchant class. 
the rune damage variable doesn't apply to us and we'll see it used later on. Next, for rune damage 2, only num7 applies. Num6 is for the merchant class. Num7 is the Acer rune that comes from enabling 8 nodes of card attack mastery. Each is worth 6% attack. Next, this calculates the move speed which is affected by the nodes for card attack rapidly in the Acer monument. You can enable 4 nodes which gives you 0.8% damage for every 1% move speed. Next is the gem dam which affects the advanced ruins. The first one is the merchant one so ignore that. The other two correspond to the rapid crash ruin and the charge burst ruin which all add more card attack damage. Next, if you have the third line of the Ruthless Slash Ruin, then you can ignore all defense. Just from these few lines of code, you can see one of the reasons why Novice Guardian is busted. Next, now we have Card Tornado specific code, which takes the Card Attack skill level, the Card Tornado skill level, and the Swift Storm Star Ruin and adds it to the damage. Now we start to put it together, and this time it includes damage reduction. I had to confirm some details of how penetration percentage and physical damage increase percentage works. In Discord, Dreamwalker said the physical damage increase is to counter enemy long range damage reduction, which you can see from this formula. For penetration percentage, it counters normal damage reduction, which I think is hidden in Dan Reduct 2. From looking at this code, some of the high modifiers include the Acer Monument nodes, movement speed, advanced ruins, penetration percentage, Although not super obvious from this code, I've often heard penetration percentage is one of the best, so I'm including it here. And finally, physical damage increase. This also isn't obvious, and is quite debatable since there are many factors. However, I still consider this a high modifier. The last block of code is factoring in the destroyer's war axe. We get an extra 15% damage, and each refined level adds 2% damage. This is another high modifier. Here's my summary from the code walkthrough. For high modifiers, this would be the Destroyer's War Axe for fun level, Movement Speed, Advanced Ruins, Acer Monument, Penetration, and Physical Damage Increase. For medium modifiers, it would be Race and Boss. For low modifiers, is Element, Target Size, Weapon Size Penalty, and Attack Percentage. This is affected by decision on things like what to invest in. I try to get some of the easy stuff out of the way, and then I try to optimize with some of the better modifiers. I prioritize on investments like the 50% boost speed mount, trying to roll for better advanced ruins, rolling for physical damage increase for enchants, and getting as many boss modifiers as possible. Also, it's quite unfair that Card Tornado gets to dip into the card attack damage modifiers. That allows Nokus to get a lot of extra damage just from rerolling advanced ruins or refining the destroyer war axe. Next, I have two findings I want to share for comparison purposes. Two years ago, someone posted general damage formulas and did a lot of math and testing. It's a really good read and I have a link to it in the description. Their summary for the general formula is in line with my summary from the code, so it's nice to have some confirmation. However, these formulas still depend a lot on the player. Variations still exist due to how much input goes into these formulas. For example, from Discord, Built to Kill posted his final damage table for his novice guardian. For him, size is greater than element, and element is the same as boss. He told me to emphasize that this is specifically for his character and for this moment in time. Culture Tornado also responded with confirmation regarding player-to-player -player variation, along with other folks as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like me to dive into any other skills, let me know and I'll see if I can do another code walkthrough. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe.